In a recent speech, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel is developing technology to fight COVID-19. Technology that we haven't activated until today, technologies that are accepted according to the law, we will activate them. That means maybe new methods that we are currently working on. I also spoke to our technology heads that they would look for all kinds of means that the state of Israel is really good at. One of those technologies would include sensors. There would be one on everyone, every person, every child. First of all, regarding children, there would be a sensor like a car. You get too close, it makes a noise like a buzzer. I don't know if this is possible. We're checking this. We're trying this. But we can, through different means, guard against the transmission of corona. The technology could be compared to what's used in Mobileye for cars that warns about the danger of getting too close to other vehicles or pedestrians. But the prime minister quickly faced criticism. A cyber resilience expert told a major Israeli publication while she understood the idea in theory, it wouldn't work for humans. It would not pass any practical or legal test. Another concern, who would use the information from the censors? During the lockdown, the government also approved digital tracking of phones of those who contracted the coronavirus. Later, Israel's high court said the country needed to pass legislation to regulate such tracking. The controversy came as Israel continues to lift its restrictions. Malls, gyms, and markets are allowed to reopen with temperature checks and social distancing protocols. So far, Israel has had more than 16,000 cases of COVID-19 with around 250 deaths, while the rate of new COVID-19 infections has decreased. But even as things gradually improve here in Israel, it appears that one solution for dealing with the crisis won't be a new system of digital sensors for people. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.